Do you like burritos? And burgers? Well, today you're in luck, because we're gonna combine both of those delicious items into Burrito Burger! Welcome back to Gringo Burritos. Some of you already know this, but burritos are like my all-time favorite food. But I also love burgers. So I was thinking the other day how to bring the best of these together. And thus, Burrito Burgers was born. The only challenge really was how to make this into this. But then it dawned on me, I don't have to. It's easy enough just to mix the taco seasoning in with the ground beef when I form the patties and then just cook it like a regular burger. So I started with adding the ground beef to a large mixing bowl and adding my own combination of seasoning, which is what I typically use for making taco meat. I'll include a list of those ingredients in the description, along with an egg and some panko breadcrumbs. I don't want to create a meatball or meatloaf-like texture, so just a small amount to help the patties keep their shape. I also had the idea to create a special patty just for me, so I added some chorizo in with one of the patties just for an extra flavor profile and to push the limit on this burrito burger. Extravaganza! I place all the patties on a baking sheet with a parchment paper and stash them in the fridge for a bit so they can marinate and solidify their form, which gave me some time to contemplate the other ingredients. For starters, guacamole is a no-brainer and easily smears. I like to keep my guacamole a bit chunky and a small amount of extra ingredients tomato, onion, jalapeno, and some cilantro. I think the key to a good guacamole is infusing the lime juice into the avocado early in the process, which also keeps it from turning brown. And this got me thinking about the other condiments. Surely using boring old mustard and mayo can't be the solution, right? As the old adage goes, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. I love making my own mustard, so I thought, why not make a jalapeno mustard for this recipe? So I started by dicing some jalapeno and sauteing them with a bit of water, vinegar, salt, and sugar. Then I ground some mustard seed. I used yellow and brown. You can use whatever combination you need, or just use some pre-ground mustard. Whisk the mustard with some ice cold water. The colder, the better. For more details about making your own mustard recipe, check out my DIY mustard recipe here. Once this forms a good paste, let it sit for about 10 minutes while the jalapenos cook. Then you can add the jalapeno mixture and whisk in some more vinegar. This was my first attempt, and I learned an important lesson. How to make, or how not to make, jalapeno rock candy. Don't add the jalapeno mixture to the cold mustard. It will solidify into hard chunks that aren't really edible. Luckily, there was enough of the jalapeno that didn't solidify, and ultimately turned out okay. Although not as spicy as I would have liked it, but it worked out well for the other spice-averse people in my household. If you don't have mustard seed, or don't want to go through all this effort, just skip it. You could just use some store-bought mustard and mix in the jalapeno mixture. I also wanted to make a special mayo for this culinary concoction. So a bit of mayonnaise, smoked paprika, chipotle, lime juice, and agave. The lime juice and agave make this similar to mayo nessa, which if you've never had, it's kind of like a Mexican version of Miracle Whip. A bit sweet and tangy. I'm not sure what to call this exactly, so we're gonna call it burrito aioli. The rest was easy some sliced tomato, red onion, and some chopped lettuce. The only thing left to do was to cook the patties. I would ordinarily grill these, but it's still winter here in the Twin Cities, and grilling outdoors this time of year can be unpleasant. So I opted for a cast iron skillet to give these a good sear and a fast cook. I set each of them aside as they finished so they have an opportunity to rest while I prepare the buns, which are toasted brioche, along with all the special burrito burger ingredients. I just gotta say, I had high hopes for these burgers, and I wasn't really sure what to expect, but these burgers did not disappoint. All of the ingredients work together like different instruments in a well-balanced symphony of flavor layers. Crunchy, tangy, spicy, tender burrito burgers, so good they would soothe your soul. Okay, did I sell it enough? I want to thank everyone for watching. If you've got any burrito ideas or recipes you'd like to see realized on the big screen, don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Brioche, along with all the special ingredient, the greedy burrito, greedy burritos. Burritos are like my favorite, like, oh my God, seriously. Along with all the special burrito burger ingredients.